Number 35. How many grams of gas are present in each of the following cases? And then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to find out how many grams of the gas are present in 0.1 liters. Maybe I'll highlight this. We have 0.1 liters of CO2 at 307 torr and 26 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're dealing with a volume. They gave us pressure. They gave us a temperature. So let's list out all the variables that we have, and then we can figure out what formula to use. So they gave us a volume. So I know that V equals 0 0.100 liters. Cool. 307 torr. Every time that you see torr, that's a pressure. So I have a P value of 307 torr. And then 26 degrees Celsius, that's a temperature, right? So they gave us a T. 26 degrees Celsius. And they're asking for how many grams of the gas. So in this case, we're looking for an M value, right? M for mass. Maybe I'll just put mass equals question mark. And the compound is CO2. So maybe I'll just put that there just as like a little indicator. Okay. So now we have to figure out which formula to use. Now, the difference is whether we have sets of variables or if we have just one variable for, you know, one number for each variable. Now, in this case, I only have one, right? They only gave me one volume, one pressure, and one temperature. They didn't give me like two volumes and two pressures and two temperatures. So whenever you just have one variable, you're going to be using the ideal gas equation, which is this one. Lovely PV equals NRT. But this one is a little bit tricky because there's a lot of rules for what units uh, you can use. The pressure has to be an ATM. So always just double check. Uh-oh, they gave us a pressure in TOR. So the first thing I have to do is I have to make sure that it's an ATM. So I have to convert the 307 TOR into ATM. And that's by knowing what all these conversion factors are. Now in this case, only pick out the ones that you care about. I know that one ATM, one atmosphere, is equal to 760 TOR. So I can use that to just do my dimensional analysis. So I'll say that I, I'm starting off with 307, and that's TOR. Remember, converting is just times by a ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side, and then put the one that you want. So in this case, it's ATM. And one ATM, so one goes on the top, 760 TOR, that goes on the bottom. Cancel out the TOR. And now you just have 307 divided by 760. So let's see, 307 divided by 760, I get 0 0.4, 0, I guess we'll say 4. And this is now ATM. So this is equivalent to 0 0.404 ATM. And now we have ATM. Okay, so now let's work on the next one. V stands for volume. This volume has to be in liters. And thank goodness, they gave it to me in liters, so big check for that. N is the number of moles. But they didn't, they didn't tell us that. Right? They didn't say how many moles we had, so I'm just going to keep going. The R value is the universal gas constant. This is a standard number that you probably have to memorize. There's two numbers. They both basically are the same thing. You could use 0 0.0821. That's the one that I know, and that's the one that I'll use in this video, but sometimes professors might want you to memorize it as 0 0.08206, but as you see here, the 6 can round the 0 up to a 1. The less numbers, the better. <laughs> this universal gas constant is the reason why there are so many rules for what the units are. The units for the universal gas constant is ATM times liter over mole times Kelvin. So it has all of the units in that one number. It's crazy. And now, what's the temperature going to be? Yeah, definitely Kelvin. But uh-oh. They gave it to us in degrees Celsius. So this is going all the way back. How do we go from Celsius to Kelvin? Yeah, you know, all you got to do is just 
plus 273. You could also plus 273.15, but this should be okay. So 273 plus 26, I get 299. So it looks like for us, I have a pressure, I have a volume, I know the R value, and I have a temperature. So what we're going to do is we can find out the moles. Oh, and then from there, we could find out the mass. So let's get to it. We have 0 0.404. Once I know that I have the right units, I don't like to write the units. Um, just gets a little hairy. So I have 0 0.100 liters, and this will now equal the number of moles. I like to just call it X, or you could put N. doesn't really matter to me. And then we have the R value, 0 0.0821. And then times by the temperature value, which is 299 Kelvin. Now you can simplify this, get this to be one number, get this to be one number, and then solve for X. Just for simplicity of the video, I'm just going to say that I'm going to divide by the 0 0.0821 and then the 299. And that will kind of get rid of both of them because we want x by itself. So I'm going to divide, whoop, maybe I'll make that in black, and I'm going to divide by the 0 0.0821 and then the 299. And I don't know why I put the k here. No idea. Usually I don't put the units. I don't know, I guess it was just habit. Okay, and from this we will be able to get an x value, which remember is going to be in moles. So let's see. 0 0.404 times 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.0821 divided by 299. So I get, I'm going to put this into scientific notation, 1.6, and they gave me three, three sick pigs. So 1.6, we'll say 1.65. Times 10 to the negative 3 moles. And now if I just maybe squeeze this over here, remember this is moles of CO2. But they wanted the mass. So this is just using our periodic table, right? Times by the ratio, we know how to go from moles of something to mass of something, right? Throw the unit moles on the opposite side. So moles of CO2. And then you want grams of CO2. Moles to grams of the same compound is the periodic table. And you always have one mole on the periodic table. Maybe I'll just pull this in. And then let's just get the mass of CO2. So I got 12.01 plus 16 times 2. 44. Oh. 44.01. Cancel out the moles. And now all I got to do is just times that number. 1.65 times 10 to the negative third times 44.01. And this equals 7.26 times 10 to the negative second. And that's now grams of CO2. And you are done. And there you go. That's the final answer. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 15,000 and we can't be there without you guys. So thank you so much. We really do appreciate you all. And I hope you're doing well. Keep studying hard. I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.